If you're watching this, you've probably seen my other videos where I describe how this wood gas stove works. Um, to me, one of the things that makes it work really well is that it has a fan. It's fan forced wood burner. Um, a few people have commented that wouldn't it be better if it had no batteries? What do you do if your batteries run out, etc.? So this is what I have been using up until now, which is at four little AAA batteries with a plug. When you plug the plug into the fan, it starts working. It's just a little four centimeter fan. So I looked at alternatives. What could I do? Now the obvious alternative is like the BioLite stove where they have a thermoelectric generator where it uses the heat from the stove to create electricity. Um, I bought one of those thermoelectric generators, it cost about $30 I think, um, and it took a lot of heat to generate not much electricity so I bought a second one to try and boost the electricity up so that there would be enough electricity to drive the fan. Still no go. Um, this is very messy, it's got thermal grease and stuff, but there's basically two of these little square thermoelectric generators in here that I tried connecting to some aluminium and tried, you know, putting one end of aluminium in cold ice water and the other end putting it under a gas jet to try and generate heat. Never had enough electricity to do anything much with it all. The voltage was a little bit low, but I actually bought a little DC to DC converter. Anyway, I decided it was all going to be too expensive, too difficult, and probably too heavy. You really need the cold side, it needs to be really cold, so I was starting off with this little heat sink, but it was obvious it was never going to cut it. Um, so what I thought of next was, what about these cheap torches you can get that are dynamo ones with a crank handle? So here's one that I bought just from a local hardware store, Bunnings, from $14. Uh, what I did was I put in a little um, socket that has a switch on it so that when I plug the socket in the power goes to the plug instead of to the light. Now this little gizmo in a tic tac box, this is a little DC to DC converter that I bought from eBay quite a while ago. I think it was cheap, it was only you know five dollars or something like that. But it converts uh, a low input voltage up to about 5 volts but it converts it to 5 volts out. So now what I can do I've put a plug on the output side of it and if I plug the other end of that into my fan well, voila, we have a fan working and it's working using this little generator a little dynamo here so Obviously twisting it like that is how you generate power. There's a little battery inside here, rechargeable battery. And you can use the lamp on off button to turn the power off. So what I actually did inside was the two leads that went to the LED. I took them off and put them into this little 2.5mm socket that has a switch function so that it just switches the light when you plug it in. Um, and then I went a bit further and I thought well, if I've got 5 volts, I might as well connect up a USB plug to it, which is what I've done. So now, if ever I need to recharge my phone, I can basically plug the phone into that. I probably wouldn't use the fan at the same time, so just the, that one. Plug it into my torch, press the button. And hey presto, now I'm charging the phone. So I think this is a good solution, much better than the thermoelectric generators which are expensive and don't make enough power. Um, so now the question is how much power do you actually get from this? This one has a battery that says it will last five hours. It says if you turn the crank for a minute it'll run the lights for 15 minutes. So if you follow that logic through, you'd have to crank the handle for a full 20 minutes to get a full charge on here. When I first got the unit home, I plugged it into the fan with this device and it ran for 50 minutes. So that's almost an hour. 
with a full charge. Um, I thought, brilliant, this looks great. I then tried um, just turning the handle for a minute or so and plugged it in again and it really only ran for 30 seconds. So while it's not as convenient as the batteries, it's not bad. I think if you were going to use it, you would probably have to either crank it part of the time while you're cooking or crank it, you know, probably for a good five minutes or ten minutes before you even started, which is a little bit inconvenient, but better than no cooking at all if you don't have batteries. And when you go camping, you probably want to have a torch anyway. You probably like the convenience of being able to charge your phone if you had to, if you're desperate. So, yeah, I think this is not bad. So now when I go camping, I guess I have the choice of carrying these two to provide power for the fan or I can carry this and I probably would carry extra sets of batteries anyway I don't think it's a bad not a bad solution um, the other thing I could possibly do is I could possibly take the power from this and use that to create the USB power oh. Now I pulled it out, I might as well show you the little circuit board. So this is the little circuit board I just bought from eBay. and it Basically you have an input voltage over here, up to 5 volts, and it, gets, it generates a larger voltage up to 5 volts on the output. So it's basically you get nothing or you get 5 volts on the output. So it's, um, it's a good little device. Um, if you do do any of these soldering, Make sure you use heatsink. Makes a good job of it and makes the um, connections and all that last. Anyway, thought you might be interested in that little uh, project. Leave a comment if you think it's alright and I'll catch you later. Thanks.